we're entering a little more normal territory. But even then, the stock market is historically overvalued in terms of both dividends, earnings, uh, and sentiment figures. So I don't think that that's an impediment for me to say we've rallied enough. Mm -hmm. We expected a very strong move back to S&P 1000 to 1100. We're in that range. We're in the upper end of that range. I think it's a great time for people who turned bullish in the first quarter to get out of the stock market. Step aside now. Well, how much of a correction do you expect, though, Bob? I think we're going to have another leg down, not just a correction. I think the bear market is not over. We had the first phase in 2008. We've had a partial recovery, a 52% retracement. By the way, that's the same amount the market retraced after the 1929 crash. And that doesn't mean we can pinpoint this, but we're now in territory where you need to think about lightening up stocks, even getting short. I think 2010 is going to be a big down year, very much like 2008. You can be safe as long as you follow the second half of Conquer the Crash and follow all those instructions about how to get your money in the safest possible places. That okay. can't hurt anybody. What do you think are going to be the worst hit areas in the markets? Okay, the big key here is the U.S. dollar, because the U.S. dollar has been moving almost perfectly contracyclically to all of the major financial markets, real estate, stocks, and commodities. Uh, last year, when all those markets fell, the dollar soared. Since March, the dollar has fallen while all these markets have gone up. I'm very bullish on the dollar for a lot of technical reasons, and I'm also bearish on all these markets for similar technical reasons, and I think those things fit together very well. So I'm looking for the dollar to go up pretty much all next year in 2010 and most of the financial markets to go down. So if you're a speculator, I think you want to speculate on the downside for next year in the financial markets and on the upside for the dollar.